So interesting story. Um, last month, due to the business growth, I missed putting out the next episode of the social series. You know, I wanted to focus on the new clients that had come in and ensure that I was delivering value to them. But to my surprise, it was interesting to see the amount of people that were actually wondering when the next episode was going to come out and, you know, wondering why it hadn't been released yet. The social series is about superb marketing, who absolutely sucked at social media in the past. But we finally decided to get a little bit social and we're going to see what happens. Right now, the way of marketing, it's all changing. And so many small businesses are getting left behind and not taking the next step forward. For me, you know, putting out the social series, I didn't know what was going to happen, you know. I initially sort of went, I need to do video content because that's what other people are doing. I was hardly marketing the business before and I've seen that right I need to now market the business a bit better and show people what we do. And the best way to do that was through video content. So that's where I got the idea of doing social series, which is pretty much the insight into the business and sort of what goes on behind the scenes, along with the insight videos, which is essentially tips, tricks, hacks and other ideas that hopefully people can get a bit of value out of and use within their business as well. I just had a conversation with someone about the effects of social media and the way that it influences people quite heavily. Obviously when it comes to business, there's a lot of benefits with using social media. You can reach and engage this huge potential client base who you probably could have never before. But when it comes to the personal side of it, there's a lot of negativities around. The reason being is because people only really post the positive and also the happy things that happen in their life. They don't really post any of the bad stuff. So when people compare themselves to other people, they tend to not see that it is okay to make mistakes. It is okay to have days that are bad. And the effect of that is that people don't see themselves as, as being someone normal. So by posting content that is obviously good and also bad, it allows people to actually feel like they are human and they are, you know, they are normal. When it comes to the power of social media, a classic example at the moment is pins in the strawberries. You know, that has affected the industry massively. There's businesses going broke because people are no longer buying strawberries. But what that effect come from was essentially the media. The media absolutely stuffed the industry within two days because they pretty much put out and said, do not buy strawberries because they've got pins in them. Now, this was only relevant to one lot of strawberries that come out of one state. It didn't actually affect any of the other strawberries that you can buy locally from local producers, your local growers and things like that. It never affected them. The media essentially by saying, do not buy these strawberries, has affected the whole industry because people stop buying strawberries. And there's so many businesses now that are actually being affected by it. And a huge influence of that was through social media. There's now the flip side of it you're starting to see over the last couple of days that people are now saying, go and buy strawberries from your local grower. That's the power of social media. This is the power of media at the moment. This is what it can do. In a matter of hours, it can absolutely destroy an industry. It can absolutely destroy someone. It can absolutely destroy a business. Social media and media in a way is so powerful and that's what you've got to be mindful of. Marketing has changed dramatically over the years. There's now so many ways to market a small business that a lot of people are getting confused about what's going to work best for them. Really when it comes down to it though, people need to take a good look at you know, what sort of influence you want your brand to have. Marketing is going to reflect the type of influence that your brand has on someone. You need to ensure that whatever type of marketing you do is going to have a positive influence. The next one is the experience you want your brand to create. People don't think that marketing is about creating an experience, but it really is because there's aspects of marketing that people tend not to think about that actually create that experience. That includes things like the shop front, the way that it appears from the street, the layout inside, even the products that you sell, all affecting marketing. Probably the biggest one of them all is probably the presentation of your staff and the level of customer service that they provide. That's all associated with marketing and it influences the way that people see the brand and also the experience that they get from your brand. So I'm just heading off to do a consultancy with a client to discuss their social media strategy techniques and look at what they can do to improve their online presence as well. Something that I absolutely love doing, you know, I love going out and seeing clients and having meetings with them. It's fantastic to see what they're up to and see what they're doing and hopefully in a way I can help them out a little bit as well. What's really cool is whenever I'm doing consultancy work with clients, you know, whether it's about a new website design or, or marketing strategies, is I can actually envision what the end product's going to look like or what the content's going to look like from. So as they're going and describing things, I can actually vision and see the way that the end product's going to look. I think it's really cool. People are a lot more visual now. You can try and describe something to someone and say, well, yeah, but what about this? This is going to look really cool. And they sort of sit there and, you know, blank face for a little bit and they go, oh, yeah, 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 let's do that. They don't fully get it until they actually see it visually and they go, now I get what you're saying, that works really well. 
I think it's disappointing that there's still a few businesses that are still stuck with their old ways and haven't moved forward to you know getting to the social media stuff. And I think if they don't, they, they're gonna get left behind. You know, we went from the online age where it was all about having a website and an online presence. And it's still essential, you need to have a website. But we're now into the social age where you can reach and engage with an enormous amount of people through a social media platform. 70% of Australia is on Facebook, for instance. So that's a huge percentage of people that you can reach and engage to pretty much present your product or service to.